Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, hi, my name is Sahar. I am a 2L at the University of Illinois Urbana-Champaign, and I would love to have you as a subscriber. I will also link my social media down below if you'd like to follow me elsewhere. Today's video is going to be all about my law school essentials, things that you need to buy in order to succeed and thrive in law school, at least according to my experience. I've broken this video down into two different parts. The first are going to be the five things that I think you absolutely need like you cannot start law school without these things and then the second part of this video are going to be five things that I think would be nice for you to have and that I think really really helped me personally and that I recommend you get but they're not like essentials you know so I have 10 things total to share with you guys today but without further ado let's go ahead and talk about the first five things that you absolutely need before you start law school. The first thing you 1000% need is a good laptop. It doesn't have to be a MacBook, but you do need a really solid, like a good quality laptop computer that you can take your notes on, do your readings on, like whatever it is you need, write your memo, your brief, all, like literally everything you do is going to require a laptop like for the most part. So I highly, highly recommend investing in a good one this is the i think the newest macbook pro um it's the one that has like their old magsafe whatever chargers again but yeah it's that one it's so nice i love it so so much i use this every single day i used to have a case on it and like a thing to put um to put over like the keypad but i kind of really like this like slick macbook look i don't know i think it's cool so i took it off but i absolutely love this i bought this right before going to law school and it's definitely gonna last me the three years and probably after that as well i love it so much and before this i had the macbook air and i used that one for like four years and it was still pretty good but i knew i wanted like one solid computer throughout the three years i didn't want to worry about it like breaking down in the middle of my like law school experience or like anything like that so I invested in a brand new one right before and I know these are expensive um so yeah like not just macbooks like just laptops in general are very very pricey which is just like it's so annoying like why are they so expensive but it is something that I think you really do need and this is like the most expensive thing on this list so I thought I would get it out of the way first but yeah you definitely need a laptop the next not so expensive expensive essential are highlighters this I cannot tell you how many highlighters I went through during my first year of law school I'm highlighting my case books I am highlighting my um, cases that I find for my memos I'm printing out the cases that are given to me for my closed memo and highlighting those like I am constantly using highlighters they are seriously so so important like I would stock up I I I honestly these are the only ones that I had lying around like my parents house but I I don't like these like bright neon highlighters I like the mild liner highlighters I'll put up a picture here um unfortunately there are a few things that I like, can't physically show you because they're back in champagne but I really wanted to get this video up as soon as possible because I know a lot of you guys are like starting law school very soon or have already started and I just I needed to get this video up so bear with me while I show you these really ugly highlighters that I don't like but Highlighters are an absolute must. I promise you will use them more than you think you will. I definitely did not think I was going to use these a ton, and then I did. So pick, pick up some highlighters. You can get them off Amazon, Target, Walmart, like literally anywhere and everywhere that sells stationery. They'll, they'll have highlighters, so they'll go stock up. The next essential is actually like an application on your computer. So once you have purchased a laptop, I would recommend you go ahead and get Microsoft Office, like the whole suite, but I mostly have it for Microsoft Word and Microsoft OneNote. So OneNote is where I put all of my notes for class and stuff and that's where I like retype my notes you guys know I handwrite my notes first and then I will type them up into my OneNote so I highly recommend I love OneNote I didn't start using it until law school and I love it I'm never going back to taking notes on Microsoft Word I love OneNote but I will use Word for 
outlines. So for my outlines and for my memo, like any of my legal writing assignments, I will use Microsoft Word. And then for my outlines, I will also put those on Word because it's just easier to have one long document. But Microsoft OneNote is really, really nice to break things down by class. So you have different notebooks for every single class you're taking, and then you can break it down into like different categories within that and then subcategories. So it's just, it's overall really, really helpful. And I just, I love it. Usually your school will provide Microsoft for you so you don't have to purchase it my school did so I get it for free um, and I know a lot of schools are that way too so I would go ahead and check with your school um, if your school doesn't um, you can always use like Google Docs and like like Google Drive the whole Google like ecosystem and that is good too but I just I am such a Microsoft person I love OneNote so I just I don't think I could ever use Google Drive so I would recommend purchasing Microsoft Office but obviously if that is restricted by your finances I think Google Drive is still a really great substitute next is a very sturdy backpack like this one is literally from Amazon. It was $25 and I really, really like it. But I also have a North Face Recon backpack. I'll put up a picture here. And I, I get bored really easily of my things and so I like to switch things up. So I used that backpack for the first semester and then I used this one for second semester. And I'm probably gonna go back to using my North Face for first semester too well just because I don't know I like to spice things up so yeah but I really really love those your case books are so incredibly heavy that if you don't have a sturdy backpack if you don't invest in something that's going to like keep your shoulders and back like not break them and also it won't fall apart because of all the weight that you're putting in there you you like need a sturdy backpack so North Face, I love North Face. I've been using their backpacks for years, but Amazon has a lot of really good options that are a lot cheaper as well. I will go ahead and actually link this one down below if I can still find it because it was relatively inexpensive compared to like North Face and like other higher brands. And this definitely held up well during my semester and it's very, very spacious. Like the, this thing is, it'll pack all of your case books, I promise. The fifth and final like essential must-have for law school is going to be a Quimby subscription. This is another one that is a bit of an investment and I know some schools will actually provide you a Quimby subscription which is just so nice. Mine unfortunately does not but I recommend splitting it with your friend or just anyone you know in law school because you get two like screens with it and so you and like one other friend can be using it at the same time so that's why I don't recommend doing it with like more than one person but me and my friend are going to be splitting it for this upcoming school year there's like three different tiers that you can do um, I personally got the highest one last year and I really really liked it but if you just want it for like cases and I feel like I should explain what Quimby is Okay, let me backtrack. So Quimby is an online subscription service where they basically have like a bunch of resources, like study materials for law students. So they have a very, very good selection of things, especially for 1L. I'm going to see how I feel about it for like 2L year if I want to continue with it, my 3L, just because it doesn't include like every topic under the sun, but it has all of the like main classes for 1L, like CIF Pro, contracts, property, all that stuff. And it'll have it'll have case briefs. So that is like the biggest thing that I recommend and I think that's what the lowest tier will get you is all of those case briefs. And they also come with like little videos. So you can watch the videos and read the case briefs before or after you read your actual like case assignment. And that way it'll help you understand what the case was about get the rule, the holding, all of that. It just really, really helps your comprehension. It's also nice when you just don't have time for readings one day. You can just quimby it and hopefully make your way through like a cold call and it'll be fine. I don't recommend doing it all the time, but if you really just like messed up and you didn't have time to do one of the readings, it's it's a really good um, 
lifesaver, but yeah, I, I really recommend doing Quimby. But yeah, I got the highest tier, which also gives you like Quimby's like commercial outlines. They have flashcards, multiple choice quizzes, essays, like practice tests. They have so many incredible resources on that website. I used it so, so much for my contracts class, and uh, that was actually my best class my spring semester so I, I really do feel like Quimby helped me out there so I highly recommend getting that it's I seriously like I can't imagine going through 1L without that service okay now we're gonna go into like some bonuses or like things that I think would be nice for you to get and I personally really love like this may be must-haves for me but I know they won't like apply to everybody so the first one is a book stand. This one I'm talking about first because I almost threw this in the must-haves just because I I just feel like it's so essential. So this basically you prop it up like this and you'll place your book on top of it and then you're able to like read without ben like bending your neck down to like look at your book on your desk. I hope I'm explaining that correctly. I'll put up a picture of what I mean here, but these are a lifesaver for your neck problems. Like I, I can't imagine reading my cases, like my case books without this because I would be looking down on my desk and it just would start to hurt and I don't want like a hunchback and I don't want like a messed up spine or anything like that. So this is so, so crucial. The reason I didn't put this in the must-haves is because I know some people that don't like using book stands and find them really annoying because if you're trying to like highlight, it's hard to highlight when like the book is propped up and also some people just don't like using them so that's why I threw this into like my must-haves but maybe not your must-haves but if I had to throw something else on that first list it would be the book stand and this was literally so cheap I got a set of two of these from Amazon for like literally seven dollars or something so yeah I'm gonna try to link everything that I'm talking about down below so you guys can like purchase it if you want but I really really love my book stand <laughs> Next, like I was mentioning earlier, I like to handwrite my notes and then transfer them on to OneNote. And I've talked about this a ton on my channel, how I think it's a really good review and study strategy. But one thing that I absolutely need to write down my notes is a legal pad. I love legal pads. Like, I I hate notebooks. Like, those spiral notebooks with... Ugh, can you guys hear my dog? I'm so sorry. <laughs> but those spiral, like, notebooks, those always get caught in things. They're really big and bulky, and I just feel like this is so much easier. I will literally just, like, write all my stuff, and I'll have, like, a few pages of notes. I'll transfer them on to my laptop, and then I will just rip them out, and I'll keep them in a separate drawer, like, so I can have them in case I need them. But you're not carrying around, like, so many pages and like trying to flip through which page you're on because you can just rip them out you know it's just I I don't know I something about the yellow it's so ugly yet so like lawyery hence why it's a legal pad I don't know I just really like writing on these there's no other explanation honestly any kind of paper would work but I I love legal pads they're they're my faves. Next is a little bit more of an expensive purchase because it's noise canceling headphones. These are probably my favorite piece of like electronic equipment I have ever purchased. I bought these like the spring before I started my 1L and I love them. I use them for everything. I use them when I'm in the library. I listen. I use them when I'm at the gym. I use them when I'm listening to audiobooks. I literally, like, I can't do anything without these headphones. These are the Sony WH-1000XM4. I don't know why they don't just, like, give them a normal name, but I got these. They were on sale for, like, $280 I think which is still like a stupid amount of money for headphones and I really was going back and forth between whether I wanted to purchase them or not but honestly I can confidently say they are worth every penny but I know not everyone can afford that and honestly any kind of noise canceling headphones I think would be great they don't have to be like the best on the market um 
yeah, I just, I think they're so, so valuable, especially if you're in the library. I find that when you're in a super quiet environment, so many like little noises can distract you. Like someone literally flipping their page would distract me in the library and I would need my noise canceling headphones. Or I would go to the Champagne Public Library and that has like collaborative spaces. So I definitely needed headphones. I again, use them at the gym. So for like mental health breaks um, or if you're going on a walk, um, because you got to take care of your mental health, like any kind of headphones, but specifically like noise canceling headphones, I think are very essential. Next is a printer. I will put a picture of the one I have. Again, unfortunately, I don't have it with me, but I think it's by the brand Brother, and I really like my printer. I think I've used it so, so much already. I really like to print out my cases for my legal writing class and use my wonderful handy dandy highlighters to highlight them. So I really like having like physical copies of everything. I also like to print out my syllabi. I like to print out my like full draft of my memo or my brief and edit like that because I find that when you're like reading a physical piece of paper you're more likely to catch errors because if you've read it on your screen for a really long time your eyes kind of adjust to that and I feel like printing it out really helped me catch some arrows arrows what errors and also narrow down like my word count and just all that it's just it's really really helpful I also like to bullet journal and I like planning so I will also print out stuff for that so it's just like a nice thing for me as well but I feel like you'll use a printer for more things than you realize but at the same time, it is a bit of an investment, so I don't think it's like a must-have. But if you can fit it into your budget, it is something that I really appreciate having and I would recommend. And then the last thing is you're probably wondering where the planner is in this video. Because you think of law school, you think of type A, you think about everything having to be planned out. And I... Guys, trust me, I am a planner girly. I love the day designer. I love the happy planner. I love the random $5 planners I can get from like TJ Maxx. That's the one that I'm using for the summer. But if you want something to organize your readings and your life, I recommend a whiteboard. You guys have seen it. You guys know I love it. I am obsessed with my whiteboard. I, I just can't believe that I basically have supplemented my planner for something else. I was a planner girly through and through, and now I'm obsessed with the whiteboard. I will still use a planner, don't get me wrong, because I like the calendar view, I like having my everyday to-do list, but you guys have seen in my vlogs, I'll put a clip or something over here, um, or over, over this clip, of my how I like use my whiteboard so I will put every single class and the readings for the entire week and then I'll fill in whenever I finish those readings so it's not a to-do list for every single day which is why I still need my actual like physical planner but I really like to see like visually on the big board um, what readings I've already done for the week what I have coming up how many pages I have to read for that week and it's just it's really it's so helpful I seriously didn't think I was going to use it this much but I used it every single day every single day I was using my whiteboard and it was especially helpful when I was planning out like my big um like finals study schedule that was so helpful to like draw out my calendar and color code like for each class how many hours I was going to study what I was going to study it's just it was so great I love I love my whiteboard so yeah and I I don't know where you can get my exact one because it was my dad's old whiteboard and he just gave it to me but I'm sure you can find some off Amazon I'll try to link some that are similar sizes to mine for size references but I yeah I mean you can find whiteboards anywhere so yeah so yeah I think that's it those are all of my law school essentials everything that I think you need before starting law school let me know down below if there is something that you use area 2L 3L or practicing lawyer let me know of anything that you used in your law school journey that you think would be helpful that I didn't mention in this video so we can all help each other out so I can maybe see it and maybe 
buy something or get something that I didn't realize I would need. And yeah, we can just make this a mutually beneficial comments section and it'll be great. But I hope you are having a wonderful morning or night wherever you are and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye!